things in the past, you know, they come to the forefront. People always ask, why you don't talk about the older fighters back in the day? And I'm like, I do, but I don't really know most of the stories that are back in the day. I only know what they've written back in the day or what my uncle has told me or <clears throat> people that was back then. But um, it's an interesting story though my uncle told me. He said the press was basically just as brutal on fighters like they are now. It's nothing really changed for him. And that's why he don't read the, the press. <laughs> He normally just asks me, like, who's fighting? He don't want to go online. He don't want to get on the internet. Because all they do is push the agenda on who they believe the fans should be caring or catering to. And his example is that you see the one photo of just uh, Sugar Ray Robinson and Jack Johnson. But if you were in that time era, you didn't even know they knew each other. Jack Johnson was... Uh, they considered him like a disgrace and they wanted the blacks to dislike Jack Johnson. Not for just dating white women. Because Jack Johnson was his own man. And a lot of people don't know he taught Sugar Ray Robinson a lot of different things in the ring that Sugar Ray Robinson used. Um, he told Sugar Ray Robinson, he said, instead of just throwing these one shots and staring and looking at the man well if you're going to throw the one shot throw it and mean it and he said I'm going to show you how to turn on your punch and put your whole body on even short shots and he showed it and a lot none of this credit went to Jack Johnson you never got a chance to see the defense of Jack Johnson because no one wanted to promote that because they just did not like Joe Jack Johnson because he was his own man. And he wanted to show these things to Joe Lewis and he couldn't. You know, they did a story on Sugar Ray Robinson and Sugar Ray Robinson had to come out there and say his idol was uh, uh, Henry Armstrong and not Jack Johnson. They just basically cut Jack Johnson out of it. And that hurt him because he felt, man, you know, why would you cut me out knowing I was there for you? And, you know, it just went that way. And he was being blackballed by a lot of the boxing gyms. They didn't want him in there because his fighter was going to get a negative press by having Jack Johnson around. Here's a guy that supposedly took a dive. He's going to be bad. And the same thing with Joe Lewis. They didn't want him interacting with Joe Lewis. Because they felt we we trying to get a heavyweight title shot. And we just can't have this. But when Ray Robinson started his career. Dude. Jack Johnson. Was there. You know, and you just see the one photo, like when he showed up there, but Jack Johnson was there, and he was around Sugar Ray Robinson early in his career a lot because he admired him, and he taught him some things that he used in the ring. You would never pretty much hear that anywhere else in the world because a lot of people won't tell you that. Um, that Joe Lewis, another guy um, that uh, my uncle loved to death, but said he wasn't his own man. And because he wasn't his own man, even though he won the championship and he did all these things and he was great, he never took nothing away from Joe Lewis. It showed you what happened to America. In America, when you play by their rules, you do everything, you toe the line, you do everything right. They exploit you. And when they get rid of you, they throw you in the gutter. And just lead and rot and die. Joe Lewis was paying taxes that he never should have been paying. It was ridiculous. And the man couldn't even, old as he was, he had to go out and fight Rocky Marciano when he couldn't even barely get out in the ring. They put him in pro wrestling 
I mean, it was just disgraceful to see what he had to do to to pay his bills. You know, he basically doing it to pay taxes, and they were just gonna throw him in jail. You know, it, it was just disgraceful. A man who went over in the war and signed up when they wanted him to go over there, and he just went over there with the troops to inspire them. And same thing they wanted Ali to do that he didn't do. And everybody who fought and became the old man basically lived by their own rules and they're cherished now. You know, you hear more about these guys than you hear about the guys that told the line. But even in his death, fighters come back and they remember Joe Lewis and the way he was and a lot of them helped. And that's the problem I don't see now in professional boxing. We're so, in, everybody's individuals. Everybody's an individual with their own camp. And no one, there's no like coming together with the fighters anymore like we used to do in the past. We used to look out for fighters. Um, oh man, I don't know if I should say this, but uh, one of Emmanuel Stewart's fighters was is about to be evicted. He had, uh, what, 37000 $37,000 in debt. And Emmanuel Stewart let him live at his house, but I think, um, like, it was, uh, something went wrong where they were gonna, like, he had old taxes on this investment deal. And another fighter stepped up and paid it for him and said, hey, you finna fight in about three more weeks. Just pay me then. I'll pay you right now. I got you. You know, we brothers. I got you. And he was a fighter from Crohn's Jail. So, these are the type of things that are missed, I think, in the sport of boxing. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to put their names out there. That's, that would be wrong because that's just not that kind of business you don't put out there like that but he came out there and, and he did something for us for Emmanuel Stewart's fighter and Emmanuel had the guy living in his house for a while till he got his finances back together and now the guy is decent you know he, he's doing his thing he's decent he's out the game but that's just rarely seen now everybody is so much individuals like I'm I'm looking out for me <clears throat> and that's it me and my team here, my camp, like any other fighter, uh, that's your business, you know, and it's just, that's what I think that got lost in the, um, in the years to pass, and you see it <clears throat> individually, as people, we don't interact with our own like we should, you know, there's not a lot of trust there, we trust all these other people, and we basically against our own. And that happens over the years of time of division. People are being separated and then they build their own team according to who they're comfortable with. And then they become isolated and then they find out those people ain't really with them when they get down to the end. You know, and that's sad. So, just some irrelevant news to get to y'all, this boxing news. Not doing this for hits, just doing it for those who really like to hear about boxing in the past and stuff. Peace.